A local high school basketball coach targeted with an alleged hate crime as he coached students during a game. A Placer County Sheriff's Office is now investigating after someone wrote the N word on the back window of his car in the school parking lot. CBS 13 Steve Large is live at Bear River High School where this beloved coach says, despite the attack, Steve, the response from the community has him feeling loved. Yeah, live on the campus here where he's getting a lot of support. Here's a copy of the Bear River High School Boys Basketball Program. And inside is a picture of their head coach, Ralph Lewis. Lewis and his team were celebrating a win on the road Friday night until he walked out of the gym and saw his car. It's a high school basketball game with school spirit taking a post game racist turn. I was very disturbed and saddened by that. I was sickened, honestly. You know, out here, we usually pretty open minded folk. Following the Bear River boys' basketball game at Colfax High School, Bear River's head coach, Ralph Lewis, found his vehicle with the N word written across it. Placer County Sheriff's Office is investigating the incident as a hate crime. Lewis told me in an email exchange the incident is a call for more education and that we are all human beings. Learning about the cultural differences is about more than just a holiday like MLK or a month like Black History Month. He also wrote, he wants people to know I am okay. If I let fear and hate control who I am, I would never accomplish the things I've done or meet the terrific people that shape my life. I was shocked. Parents at Colfax High School shared outrage over the incident and uncertainty over who in the community would commit the heinous crime. I hope that they come forward and I hope that it's they're not affiliated with Colfax. Uh, Colfax High School, our, the town of Colfax, <laughs> you know, I, I, I really, that's what I, my hope is. Colfax High's school district issued a statement calling for the person or persons who wrote the word to be held to the highest levels of accountability. And we should be so far beyond that, you know. A high school game <laughs> getting ugly from the hard court to a hate crime investigation. Coach Lewis and his team will be back on the court for the first time since this incident. They have a home game here tomorrow night. An unfortunate situation, but this coach handling it with a lot of class. All right, Steve, thanks.